Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Sergeant Ritual Play Survival Chaos. We are playing as the Void Elves against the Scarlet Crusade, Worgen, and the Dark Horde, so it might be a little bit of a spicy game, but hey, you guys don't want to hear me talk. Let's keep rolling this dice, see what we get, and that is going to be eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Terror from the Void, all right. So, potentially... A little bit of a spicy early game, but thanks to our dear, dear friend Gumpy, we have a much better idea of how to start the um, game with the Void Elves. We've had an amazing selection with the... Um, with kind of the building up the backline and the ranged, so we're going to be sending good luck. All caps seems aggressive. Good luck, have fun. So we are going to be up here against the Dark Horde. Fun will be start soon. Uh-oh. Don't know what that means. I hope it's not a troll bonus that he's picking up. Though I don't think out of everyone here there is necessarily a troll bonus. Though I am a little bit concerned about the, um, the Dark Horde because we know how pretty spicy all of their nonsense can get so we are going to be going fairly hard in terms of base defense because against them we definitely want to build and prepare for that dragon rush that they tend to really really like to do kind of that relatively early game all of a sudden there's two dragons coming right for you but with this armor and the back line I think that's going to be helping us out pretty well here. Research because the thing is, early game, we've got minus 12% damage, minus 10% hit points. We're not necessarily going to be taking the um, middle from anyone. So I don't think, instead of trying to contest that, I think we're going to be better served really just making sure our base is as powerful and as protected as possible let's quickly observe and make sure that he's not coming into us and he is indeed which is very 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 good to, to know because instead of getting another little guy going in terms of an upgrade we are going to be going tier two this way he is going to be pushing oh okay most important we get that going okay the good news is there's no armor upgrades there's nothing that really differentiates them in terms of power so what I'm gonna try and do is knock out as many of the units as I can Also going to have them hyper focus these units there. And don't worry, we are going to be dumping a huge amount of stuff um, in terms of magic pretty much on cooldown on, on them. Just to kind of defend us from what we can. We want to make sure only way to play this stupid shit somehow. Mm, I don't know if that's true, my friend. But here we are. Four, three, two, one. And then we're going to hit their back line. We're going to really try and mark the barracks here, which it looks like we were able to pull off. This is actually the fact that he didn't upgrade any of the armor or anything like that really gave us a huge advantage here. Got to make sure they it, our, our actual building itself doesn't take too, too much more damage. Oh, All right. Head. So, he is gone. That is good for us. We're going to upgrade the way gate here. 
then I think we are also going to be picking up some more steel armor, probably some more basic elven masonry. Good, we upgraded down there. That's what we're going to need. There's Relar Feng Fire. Research. And see, just because you have strong troll bonus for early game does not mean you are going to survive the whole time. No, no, no. So we're going to now upgrade our armor here as much as we possibly can. Uh, our, not our armor, our, um, our elven masonry. Because we're going to go in with a huge push here. Okay, good. And he does have tier... Oh, no, that's the Scarlet Crusade. So the Worgen actually got really, really smacked up here. Research um... Probably want to go tier two here as well. Just because with Ralar, I don't know where Ralar's planning on going. This kind of like main problematic boy. And I think I think getting our armor and all that up is probably gonna be the better move here. Ooh, 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 we are dropping some frames there, but that's okay. okay so we're going to be picking some gold up from there. And then we're going to be pushing into edge here ever so slightly. He already has Citadel level 2, so we probably want to catch up with that. But I think, economically speaking, we made the right choice. Oh, I was hoping we'd be able to pick that up. We still might be able to. And major shout out to Kamina, because especially when it comes to those kind of like underhanded uh, bonuses right off the bat, it's tough to keep the morale going. So the fact that they're still playing and still fighting, once again, you guys know me. I love that stuff. So much respect for that stuff. All right. Okay, yeah, so they're quickly running through there. That's all fine. So we are going to have to go tier 2 here, much to my chagrin. Should probably pick some of that up. And we're 1 and 2. Good. And how's our armor? 2. Not super, but, you know, it's, it, it's enough. And I think it'll get us through this nonsense. So it's going to be interesting to kind of see how this all plays out. Especially with, you know, what we've kind of hit this, uh, we need, once we get a little bit more of a punch behind our units, I'll be pretty content. Though I'm not thrilled that we've lost all, pretty much all the income from this push, but they're already four and one, so they're not soft enemies. He's actually had to, Edge has had to tier two. They're two and two. We can still, I mean, I think we're still in decent shape at the very, very least here. The good news is we, we're going to just be providing constant pressure onto the Worgen. Good, good, good. And I would probably think that the best move right now is to go tier two, just because we want to be able to have heroes available should we need them, as well as the nuke, potentially. And see, that tw plus 12.5% mana is so, so nice. And 
because we're already pretty much right back up to where we were, and we used it twice. We, we, we were 100 mana down not too long ago. Yeah, so this wolf cut is wolf cult is going to quickly become a problem, but it could also become a source of a pretty significant amount of income for us, especially now that we are fighting. Why, why, why you gotta why you gotta break up my mojo like that? There it is. One zero. Okay, so he is going straight. Yeah, so we're he's already gotten a couple of. Um, tower upgrades, so that seems to be his priority before, you know, just kind of the basic unit upgrades. I would love to send survival down here, just to kind of keep this wolf cult under control. But they are chewing through my units pretty aggressively. Upgrade complete. I think Void Arcanist is probably going to be the move. Then probably Phantom Image a little bit later. Yeah, so that's all happening. While we're here, minus 15% attack and move speed I think is very, very important. I don't love the fact that it reduces uh, move speed because I, I find that it kind of allows people to like bunch up and roll out a little bit more than I would like, but I think the 15% um, attack speed debuff is very nice. Okay, so now that we're doing all this relatively well, he is starting to push out on us. That's okay, because we're still ahead in terms of upgrades, especially now that we've picked up a couple of those um, tower upgrades. And I would argue kind of like the most important, like getting those illusions out, getting the um, Void Arcanist out is so, so critical for them. Yeah, and the thing is, they're still going to be kicking the hell out of us, because six melee attack is just way, way more than we can, like, tangibly deal with at the moment. But, once again, my goal isn't really to be dealing with it. It's more just to keep him on, keep pressure on him. I'm not necessarily looking to break him, because we know he's lost his barracks, right? So that means he's never going to be able to get to tier three. So, th apart from the unit upgrades, this is as much pressure as we're going to face. Whereas he's going to face more and more and more pressure from me. So, I think we're going to be okay here. Okay, he's starting to get some unit upgrades going. That's okay. We just want to make sure, most importantly, we don't really fall behind the wolf cult. Because the wolf cult does have this ability to really spiral out of control. Research finish. Research finish. Okay, so I am starting to get worried about the... Okay, so he's getting his shouts. Tempted to send a hero, but I don't know if that's, like, the number one priority. No, it should be. It should be. It should be. It will be. It is. It is now the priority. <laughs> yeah, so 6-2, so they're starting to upgrade their armor now. So, yeah, we're going to let them push in here because it looks like the wolf cult is gone. And instead of spending, you know, 150 or like 175 mana, yeah, I would say we just buy a hero, send them in, because they're just gonna run run train through us, are they? Maybe not. Either way, we're sending out survival. Yeah, we're gonna... The middle's taken care of. Now we can focus down here, which is equally scary. Um, that might have been a dumb, dumb choice to send survival out so far. For some reason, I thought they were much further out. Okay, but now we're getting that void line in. He's got some help coming through. We'll see. Certainly wasn't my best play of our dear friend survival, but we're going to be going through.
Yeah, so survival was just a waste. That's okay. It's it's certainly disappointing, but it's it, it's okay. We're going to learn from it. We're going to recover from it. We're going to move on from it. So let's just repair that. Make sure that repair is coming in nicely. And now, stuck between these two, we should actually have enough to keep everything off. So I can start spending the gold I was planning on kind of saving for... Um, you know, a potential emergency hero if we needed it. Does not seem like we are. Okay, good. There's still a real game to be played here. A real, real survival chaos match to be played. And we do want to be a little bit more aggressive in terms of building upgrades, just because we do have a tier 4 bonus, so we want to make sure we can try and get to that tier 4 bonus much faster. So now we're going to be 3 and 3. I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, still eons behind the Worgen with their 7-3. But we also have 3 barracks, so... You know, you win some, you lose some in that situation. Also, economically, I think we're doing well, especially since we're really controlling all of this here. And granted, they're not giving much, but, you know, it's it's 10 gold. Research. It's an extra 10 gold. <laughs> 15 gold every minute. The HP regeneration is really nice, but of course, these are all medium because the Dark Horde player um, dipped so early. We are going to be picking this up because this is really going to be a knockdown, drag out fight type of match. I really don't think this is going to be, you know, uh, I'll sit back and you guys can do your thing. Like, no, this is, we're going to be beating the hell out of each other pretty much constantly. All right, good. So they're pushing and we're holding. I don't I don't need to necessarily do more than hold right now. And I think the best way we can really keep on like pushing is by continuously upgrading, making our units tougher to deal with, you know, all that stuff. So, actually, let's get some more adamantite armor. Nether Shield, I think, is probably going to be the next big one. Okay, because that, that'll be a nice big push. So let's get Nether Shield. Just because a lot of this combat, a lot of this damage will be coming down to actual melee, punch you in the face type of type of situations. So let's make sure we can try and I both negate and punish these heavy melee builds. Because it's well within our ability to do so. Alter of Purity level 3. So they did pull it off. There goes the tier 2. While irritating, very nice to see that their mana is so low. They takes five times seventy-five damage. Five times seventy-five would be three hundred and fifty. So the illusions take okay, three hundred and fifty damage. That hurts, but it's certainly not kind of like the end all be all that I was afraid of. So let's try and get us to five five, then we can start looking at some other kind of equally important uh, upgrades and whatnot. Because from there, we'll really be able to know what exactly we're doing here. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to upgrade our illusions because we keep getting nuked and our number advantage is dropping, which I would really, really like to avoid. We 
He's got the worgen hunger as well. Hurts to see my wolf boys used again against me like this, but you know, sometimes this is just the way it is. Yeah, so the thing is, the rangers just keep getting absolutely annihilated. So we've got to find a way to try and mitigate, just keep, essentially keep our phantom images up and running as fast as possible. This is going to be a big problem, so we're probably going to have to send a hero down here, maybe. Okay, so he's gone tier 4 into us, so we're going to have to go tier 4 into him. That's okay. It's actually really nice that we've essentially repaired this back from the brink. And they are pushing, that's fine. The thing is, it's just a numbers game at that point. We, we're gonna be able to push through. And the good news is, there's no tier 3 here or anything, which means it must- I mean, look how crazy this backline is looking. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's gonna suck, but also we're gonna have a hero and then be able to go tier 4, and then have our tier 4 push come in through there. The next big thing that I do want to really kind of take care of is magic, because once again, especially with Gush and Godrin, I'd really, I mean, Ember, whatever, it's its fire, Gush. Um, I'd really, 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 really like to um, have Smite up or anything that can really just keep them off of me. Good. So they're pushing quite nicely. We're going to send survival out again. I tell you more. Nice. Then so we're going to let them all come in. And now he's level six. Come on, give us, give us 2k. Give us 2k, baby. There it is. Okay, good. So we're finally tier 4. We no longer have to worry about that anymore. We're going to repair that. That was maybe a little bit of a waste of a, of a, um... Okay, good. Our units are much better than theirs. We have, we have a hero and we've got tier 4. So that's going to be an unpleasant push for them to deal with, which makes me very happy. I think we probably want to get some more advanced elven masonry first, just for a little bit. Yeah, good. The beholders are coming in. Oh, interesting. So they do void torrenting. Got it. And they give mind control, steals one unit every 30 seconds. That's going to be very, very nice, especially if we can pick up a big, unpleasant unit. And I'm okay with 5-5. Five five. I don't think we need any more of these upgrades. I'm going to be picking this up because I do want to go Tier 3 here or Tier 3 here. Frankly, even maybe saving up to Tier 3 just in general. They're eight and five, we're five and five. I'm okay, I'm very content with that. See, if you could just pick up that fire elemental, baby, I'd be super happy. Oh, we got a light cavalry, that's not too bad, okay. Yeah, so we're definitely have to get, get to go tier three up here. I think I'd rather first. Yeah, because, oh my God, did you see that? Just illusions upon illusions upon illusions, baby. I love it. All right, so we're going to keep on keeping on. Okay, another nice steal. It's another light cavalry. We like taking that kind of punch away from them. Research finished. Awesome. Was there something you wanted? Let's 
It's gonna be interesting to see how much damage we're able to do here, but survival is level 10. Even though that is Sally White main. It's gonna be interesting here. And I think I would probably like to keep upgrading Void Tapping. Because... Uh, I mean, ultimately, our goal is is to is around the beholders. That's really kind of gonna be the bread and butter of our operation here. Yeah, so unfortunately they both fell, but just in time for a new one to show up. Sally Whitemane, which I like. We are we are apart from our front line, we are staying away from kind of the very, very dangerous base defenses. If we can actually kill Sally Whitemane, that would be massive in terms of what we're able to do. And I see that we've got a lot of, uh, of money here. I am saving up for Tier 3. Because I think if we're able to go to Tier 3, then that's going to give us a lot more... Ooh, okay, so there's a... Interesting, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would, if I'm being honest. My survival just dipped. Taking a little bit of distance there. Because it... Oh, we actually killed Sally my white mate. Okay, that's huge. Because now all of a sudden the hero economy is aggressively in our favor. As well as the fact that our units... I mean, they're still better than theirs. Alright, so we're going to pick up uh, level 3 here. And granted, Edge is playing very, very well. We were just lucky enough that we were able to really kind of twist that little oh, twist, twist that um, troll bonus at the beginning to our favor and actually just getting an extra 1,500 gold for fun is, I mean, it, it's game changing. It's incredibly helpful. What bonus does this give us? One level of ricochet. Oh, does that affect this? I would assume so. Yeah, so we might as well just pick up one level of that. Okay, then since we are going in so hard against the worgen, I'd say just more damage on the hole is going to be nice. Doesn't sound right, but here we are. <laughs> And they're going to be slipping through, but we're going to be able to meet them probably around here. Yep. Okay. Good, 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 good. Right, so that's Darius Crowley's coming in that way. completely out of mana now, so it's a matter of time in that sense. So I think we will be picking up some more magic, because I would love to get some AoE to kind of counter the AoE that the Worgen are so, so good with. Oh, wow, that's been healing for a long time. We have not, we've not come knock, knock, knocking on their door for a hot minute. But this should give us enough to go tier 3 in mid. Just about. Oh, he sent out Renault Mowbrain. What level are you, Renault? Oh, come on, I just had you six. Okay, so he's got all of his fancy toys. Yeah. I probably should have waited for tier three. Oh, well. We'll be able to deal with this. Great, now that everyone's attacking Darius Crowley. This actually could work out quite nicely here. Yeah. Because now this is going to be a, a complete mess. I would say... I don't want to send out Alaria. 
actually, I don't want to send out a hero at all. We can just defend this as is. We can start building this magic, because by the time Darius Crowley goes down, we should have enough gold, especially with his um, kill gold, to send a hero out against Rono Mograin. Sorry about that if you can hear that. My neighbor has these lovely, lovely dogs that get a little bit excited sometimes. But if you can hear that, I apologize, but it's nice for me at the very least. It, it, it kind of reminds me of being back home with my own puppy and stuff like that, so. All right, so here we are. We're kill, kill, killing it, Darius. We're picking this up. Might take a little bit of damage, but there it is. We've got the thousand gold we wanted, and we already have the magic pretty much already there. So it's going to get very, very hard for them to hold me in the way that I think they want to try and hold me. Yeah, because now this is going to be unpleasant for them to, to defeat. Good. Now we have 700 gold to use in the back line. Hmm. So I will pick up the next level of Void Arcanist. Yeah. We will send all them out. Okay. Um... I would really just like to focus a Renault Mograin. Merci. Merci beaucoup, mon ami. Oui, oui, oui. All right, so everything's dying, and it's not my stuff, which I like. This tower's taking a good amount of hits, so let's just switch this over, switch this over, we'll switch this over. Okay, good. The aggro shuffle did work are going to want to repair that. I think we will be getting some more Elven Masonry up and running. That was a slight misplay on my part because we could have immediately gone back to hitting Renault Mograin. But that's all right. Yeah, because now we're just going to start running train through them. Good, 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 good. And then I think we're going to be picking up some more armor. We're also going to be doing more ricochet, because if we can turn our uh, beholders into monsters, then I think that's going to help us drastically in the long run. I mean, 84 to 94 damage is already really not bad. We can upgrade this to level 12. Um, I would also really like to see what everything looks like. Okay, good. Everyone's starting to die. We like that. Research. Boom. All right. Little bummed out about how much damage that took, but I think I think we're gonna be okay. We're six and six. We are also six and six. We are actually going to be catching up and surpassing that. I hope. Still Citadel level two. Okay. So we're probably going to want to save up and send Kara out. Because we're about to get the... Yep, there it is. And good, Brigitte Bendis is melee. Our dear friend Alaria is ranged. So that gives us a distinct advantage, especially since she's a little bit far out. We might be able to really start pinging her here. 
without getting involved with their scary stuff here. Did he send two heroes out at me? Or was this... Oh no, that was just there. That's okay, cool. Frankly, if they really want to spend, you know, this is just unfortunate aggro for them because Alaria is not that much of a threat by herself, but as as like a pseudo tank. Thank you very much. So we're going to be picking up this uh, pseudo, uh, this Supreme Void Tapping. Then I am going to be keeping this on the back burner because that's level two. That's also level two. Okay, so Alaria is dead. That's okay. It gives Brigitte and all this a lot more experience for us to take care of if they're able to break through, which I think they should be able to. It really just depends on how effective Brigitte is as at propping up that defensive line. Okay, no, honestly, that's great. If he wants to send a hero up that way, that's perfect because that is free kills for me. That's free gold. It's like a free game, but with gold, my friend. And as you know, it's a Swiss person that makes me very, very happy. See, I'm not too sure what's going on with my camera, because the second I move over to the dark, it's perfect. But then, boop, boop. So, I'm not entirely sure. But we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. I'm still kind of getting used to this new camera setup and whatnot. Because it always seems to work better at the beginning of a video than towards the end. So I'm going to have to probably go on some forums and stuff like that, check it all out. Because I want to deliver you guys some good content, some quality content. Alright, so now that we've picked that up, let's get some more improved Corium armor. Once again, staying around the $2,700 um, mark. And there goes Bridget Abendis. Ooh. Really staying alive by the skin, skin of her chinny, chin, chin. And there she goes. Good. So that means we're going to be able to send a hero down this way. Two, one, zero. We elves are not easy. Six and six. They did get to level three, so we did lose a little bit of that momentum there. But I also really, really didn't want to launch our big boy down that way without any assuredness. The good news is they don't have smite. I want to make sure that repair is on cooldown. Eight and six and we're catching up. We are very, very, very much catching up. She's chunking Gen Grey main. We love to see the enemies get good chunks taken out of them. Here, hopefully, we'll be getting a couple good void lines on our way through. Yep, void waves, void lines, whatever, you know. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's another tier two. Oh, my God. This poor guy's really, really on the back foot, on the defensive foot, which, you know, a a a as as a fellow human being, it's tough to see, but as a competitor, is mwah, delicious. We love to see it. All right. Um, okay, if, if we kill Gen Greymane, actually, you know what? We, we should probably do this. Because I don't think they're going to be... I don't think they're quite at the level where they can push us out Research. quite yet. How aggressive do I want to be here? And he's gonna die pretty, pretty badly. I mean, the thing is, I think the important part is we're still gaining enough money to throw out a big hero. The wolf cult to be spicy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, good, good. And that is now tier four, so we're going to be pushing into them. Okay. 
yeah, that's totally fine up there. I'm not particularly worried. We are actually holding quite nicely, so I'm gonna send survival down there. I think it's time for us to get aggressive. And if I can bait out, um... Oh my god, oh my god. It's fine, he's gonna take a little bit of mana from us. That's gonna be okay. Is that tier four? Nope, still level three, so that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be a spicy meat the ball. Oh, mamma mia. Was there something you wanted? Okay, there's Sally White main. I think I might really have to get aggressive here. So that is what we're gonna be doing. is going to be getting some good experience from this. Because especially with survival, they're going to be constantly kind of pulling back, forward, back, and forward. And honestly, the reason why I sent this is when I saw Sally Whiteman come out, she's going to be resurrecting a lot of them to come back and give us more experience, essentially. That should be the AoE, maybe? Maybe she's not quite there yet. We'll see. Yeah, so Darius Crowley's just a beastie, beastie, beastie boy. Let's get some more damage going. So he, okay, so now that he's starting to lose buildings, we also have to watch out for Ember to coming out. I uh, know if he, if he's throwing heroes out, he probably doesn't have Ember available. There goes Sally Whitemane. And now they're, are they finally gonna be able to start pushing? We'll upgrade that to tier four, just in case they are. Boop. One, we're good. Now we're gonna pick up improved Corian armor. Some good, good aggro shuffling. The good news is we're also really screwing up his defenses here. It's giving us a ton of gold. Even Darius Crowley's looking really rough for wear here. Okay, and since we're going to be taking out his barracks here, we're going to be picking up Advanced Elven Masonry because now our income from the Scarlet Crusade has now just dropped drastically. And there goes Darius Crowley. Good, good, good. They still haven't upgraded to keep... Yeah, so they must have just gotten starved from everything that's happening here. Yeah, that wolf cult has completely throttled them. So we're researching that. What else should we be researching? Probably the Void Arcanists, I think. The AoE damage. You know I love me some AoE. And then let's get some Void Implosions. Now that we know we don't have to send a special unit in anywhere. Yeah, so it seems like... They're starting to throw in the towel here. Just, oh my god, or no, that's a, okay, well played, well played. Though I do apologize, I am gonna smite. Yeah. I've, I've, I've seen Godrin, I've seen Godrin do too many goofy things. 
Godrin's too scary for me. <laughs> and the ricochet from the Beholder. But once again, I cannot congratulate my my opponents Kamina and Edge enough. They, they they started off with a really rough rough hand, you know, especially having like someone troll you and and send out that stuff and then immediately leave. It, it, it's it's tough, but especially Kamina holding on and rocking and rolling as long as they have with no top barracks. It's been amazing and really really proud of them to watch and you know work with them because that's 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 the really cool stuff is like they were dealt bad hands objectively bad hands and they stuck with it i was lucky enough that i that i was able to see it coming from here and i already had enough gold saved up that i was able to go tier two but but really it was it was really really cool to see them really fight and make this a real game for you guys so you know, I, I just record the videos. These are the guys that make the videos for us. It's opponents like this that fight the entire time. So, you know, Edge and Kamina, if you're watching this, major shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for letting me play um, with y'all. And this was this was fun. I mean, there was a few times, especially with the... Um, with the... Scully Crusade, that I was really pretty sure I was boned, frankly. <laughs> So that's so scary, dude. There's so much nonsense there. Like maybe if our team, our guys team up, we can deal with it. Maybe. Dude, he's straight up one-shotting my units. That's doing well. Let's get Phantom Image. Research finished. Uh, more Void Implosions. Especially if we're gonna have to... S yeah, okay, so... Ralar Fangfire is now defending the middle. Okie dokie, love that. So I think I am going to send a hero down there to kind of speed that up. Let's get some improved Void Torrenting, because the thing is, with Ralar, if he shows up any point up here, odds are he'll probably be running right down to us, so I'd rather kind of prepare for that and make sure that doesn't really happen. All right, so we've got the ricochet coming in. We've got all that. Let's, let's get some Vorpal Blades. All right, and GG, well played to, to Edge. Played until the very, very, very end. Are we gonna f hopefully finally be able to lock down and murder Ralar Fangfire? Cause the Alpha Prime is uh It's a scary dude. I don't I don't I don't love the fact that that exists on my map with me. But uh hey, here we are. This is fun, this is fine, fun, flirty, and or exciting. I mean maybe if I I'm 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 gonna send Kaara into into him and see what happens. Can I smite him? Is he technically a special unit? I feel like he's just a hero. Which is horrifying in every conceivable sense. Good, we're gonna be able to push through all the way here. Yeah, we're picking up Sally here, unfortunately for her. R.I.P. Sally White me.
Good, good, good. So we are... Maybe? No. He's kicking the shit. Like, he's kicking the shit out of my titan, dude. Yep, yep, there she goes. Bye. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna pick that up. Have this we're gonna we're gonna keep on trucking here for a little bit oh but here he comes I think I will just because I I can't deal with it. I tell you more. Then and it's also been 51 minutes, so I would like the game to end. <laughs> Our town is under siege. I stand ready. Great, yeah, so we just unfortunately knocked them both out. Yeah, this was fun. This is what I needed. I, I, I've been in a little bit of a uh, of a survival chaos slump, you know, just not feeling fully motivated to kind of get back into it, find you know, find a group, stuff like that. But this this is what I needed. This is what I needed. This was a fun one. This was a good one. And once again, would not have happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I guess I'll just keep buying upgrades. I mean, there's really not much more I can do at this point because I've got all of this. My buildings are pretty much back up to full health. <laughs> My tier 4 replacement, gone. I think because we were able to keep his mana low, 
we might finally be able to, like, finally break through, but who knows, man? <laughs> who the hell knows? All I know is I don't want to send any heroes into there. But yeah, he's, like, single-handedly defending his entire mid. That's hilarious. I'm just like, don't worry, boss. I remember where I came from. And now, I will pay back the debt. I will pay it back. My god. Alright, so, we're just gonna keep on s slapping the walls of his mana shield like with, like, our wet baguettes here. Lord. fighting right up until the end. So much respect. Love, love this. Okay. Darius Crowley's here to join in the final defense. I am going to be sending Ara out. Another tier two. Now run, survival, run. Run. Run, my friend. He is too strong for you. No! Survival, my brother. My brother. I respect your strength, but at what cost? At what cost, my friend? Okay, that was a big truck. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was like a full-on See, I've got a perfect vocal cadence, right? My, 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 my voice is truly, truly majestic. Lord have mercy, you just won't die. <laughs> 28 Alpha Prime. Solo special units doesn't even blink, doesn't even flinch. I mean, is there anything else I can really build? I don't have much. I don't have much bloody um, economy. My GPM is in the toilet because I there's nothing to kill. I mean, this guy won't die. The good news is, once you get him down to no mana, at the very least, all he can do is just punch my guys to death. So I suppose that's something. We immediately stole back the werewolf. 12 from 12 werewolf. And Kara's just garbage because she's just been thrown, like, she's gotten nuked, got this thrown at her, that thrown at her. Okay, so he has finally died again, Ralar Blackfire. <laughs> like an absolute bloody legend. Making me fight for every second of it. I love this. Glorious, man. What, uh, what, yeah, another item. Minus 20% unit damage. Holy hell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this game of Sergeant Neutral Play Survival Chaos. I know we're just wrapping up here, but congratulations to my dear friend. <laughs> uh, to my dear, my new dear friend, Kamina. It was a lot of fun. And also to our other friend, the Scholar Crusader, Edge. This has been a lot of fun. It's what I needed. I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. And this is Sergeant Neutral. Signing out.